Now, music venues across Nashville, no doubt, are celebrating at this point. They're able to welcome back a lot more people, possibly 100% capacity in their venues. Now, New Sports Forest Sanders got to sit down with the people who run the Bluebird Cafe, the famous music venue in Green Hills here in Nashville. And they tell Forrest they're still facing some hurdles on this path to normalcy. Beginning nearly 40 years ago, a place became a haven for the singer-songwriter. For decades, the stage hosted everyone from the artists seeking that first radio hit to the artists behind the biggest records and music. Keep it going. A small venue is now known across the world. That's the history of the Bluebird Cafe. And this is the Bluebird story today. Who would have guessed when we closed the Bluebird on March 13th that we would be sitting here in May of 2021 and still closed. Erica Wallum Nichols tells us the restrictions that came with COVID kept the doors locked on many small venues. She says today's lifting of mask mandates by the CDC is another big step, but she says reopening isn't simple. People are asking, they're like, so are you going to be open next weekend? It's like, oh my word. <laughs> Everybody's having trouble hiring kitchen staff here in Nashville now. Our opening date is really going to be dependent on when we can get a kitchen staff in place. But she says there's no question about who is ready for the Bluebird to come back. The one saying, make sure you get the sign in the picture. <laughs> There are people having their picture taken out front every day. Us and the kids came from Canopolis, Kansas. When we come back to Nashville, we're hoping we can come back here to the Bluebird Cafe. I think we're all ready to have the music back. We're going to do the very best we can to get them all back in here as soon as possible. I'm Boris Sanders, News 4 Nashville.